Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host, Seishu, and I'm speaking with a good friend of mine, Mark Higgins, and he is a photographer based in Rhode Island, a wedding photographer, a damn good one, actually, but he's also the co-founder of one of the founders of Inspire Photo Retreats, a wonderful, incredible conference for photographers that I've been to a number of times. Uh, last year was in Portland. Next year is going to be in Newport, Rhode Island, if I'm not mistaken. That's correct. And uh, Mark's heading up, and he's excited about all, all everything that's happening. Mark, thanks for joining us. I'm, I've got a bunch of questions for you, man. But let's start by by introducing you. Tell me, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I've lived here in actually Massachusetts. We're almost in Rhode Island. I'm, I live in North Attleboro. Um, and I've been here 10 years. I'm a father of five. Uh, my oldest is coming home this week from his sophomore year at UConn, and we have a little guy that's in third grade and teenagers in between. Um, I fell into photography. My dad was a, was a high school teacher, and one of the electives he taught was uh, photography. So I've been around photography since 1975. A long time. Uh, and I shot my first wedding in 2004 for my best friend up in Maine. And it just kind of escalated, like for most people from there, that I, I liked it. I got the bug. And I've been shooting full time since 2006. Um, and as far as Inspire, I got involved in, with Inspire in 2009. Uh, Matt and Anna Grazier uh, founded Inspire. And it was one of those things, it was a dream of Anna's to do Inspire, and um, Matt was like, let's make it happen. So they brought a bunch of us together, they're friends, in November of 2009, and the first Inspire happened in February of 2010, so we planned it in like three, three months. And there was like 100 people, it was at the Conquer Colonial Inn, 300-year-old inn. I remember that. Yeah, so it was, it was, it was a lot of fun. And so for the first three years, uh, I pretty much um, volunteered. And um, in 2011, uh, Matt stepped back, and they offered up ownership. And so uh, we bought in, and I'm one of the owners. And right now, the three owners are Anna, Anna Grazier, Eric uh, Foley, and myself. We're all equal owners. Um, we love Inspire. It's Sometimes it's a full-time job, but, I mean, it's, it's a great thing. Uh, you know, it's it's something that we plan all year, um, and to see it come together every February, it's it's pretty special. Um, the community is amazing, and that's taken on a life of its own. Um, there's one thing that we all believe uh, as owners or inspires that we can't own the community. Um, the community is, you know, we can help the community. We can. Um, you know, we could offer up a place for them to interact, like the Facebook group and st stuff. But the the community is self supporting, and it's and it's you know a testament to right. the great people that come to Inspire and that they that they get it and that they want to be part of a community and they don't see their fellow photographers specifically as competitors. Um, you know, I was just at Grow. Uh, Brand camp in last October with uh, Jay Sandifer, and I, I liked what they called it. Uh, uh, instead of vendors, they called them frienders. You know, you're your friends. You're you're also competitors, uh, but it's a great professional relationship. But it's also a lot of people have true friendships out of this, and sure. you know, uh, I'll hear people joke that like, like I'm vacationing with somebody I've gone to inspire with, and and that's so true. Yeah. Um, so it's it's a really special environment. Um, we're excited about this year and, uh, you know, it's just a few short months away. I know nine months sounds like a long time, but when you're planning with something like this, before you know it, the summer's gone then you're in the like full swing of the wedding season in the fall, the holidays. And then all of a sudden you're like, well, I've got five weeks to, to finish this up. So right, right. it happens pretty quickly. Indeed. Um, and, and, uh, and you're doing all of that in addition to your own business, which is incredible. I mean, so hats off to you because uh, it's not an easy thing to, to be able to juggle a full-time job, five kids, as you said, right. And, and <laughs> the conference, which is coming up. Um, there's, you know, I've been to Inspire uh, at least three times now, um, and every time I've come back feeling like, wow, I've just gone and hung out with a bunch of my friends versus uh, I've 
gone on and hung out with a bunch of people who are looking, trying to find out what my pricing is. You know what I yep. mean? So there's that feeling like, okay, yeah, yeah, come, come, let's chat about your business. Let's chat about your pictures. Let's chat about, you know, what's, what's really, what's, what's got you stuck. In fact, to be honest with you, I got an email just last night from somebody who I mentored at Inspire asking about SEO. And she was like, well, can you help me out with it? And, and I said, well, I, I may not be able to be, I may not be the best person for it, but I can direct you to the right people, which I think is almost the, the right thing to do if you don't know the mm-hmm. right answer, right? So That's correct. Um, so I always, I, I felt like, I felt so good about helping her and she was thrilled that, okay, I, I sent her a resource that was really the best, I think, in the business. Uh, and she was, she was ecstatic. Uh, and I think these kinds of connections are what differentiate Inspire from other so-called conferences, right? Um, yeah. Let's roll, uh, let's rewind a little bit. I, I want to know, I obviously, you know, speaking with Anna and Matt would be ideal, but what what is, since they have sort of, you know, created this conference, what has uh, motivated you, Eric and Anna, to just move things forward with this conference? What is it that, that really is important for all three of you? Well, I think what happens is photographers, uh, we're very gregarious people on the mo- for the most part. Uh, even the people that are introverted, they, they, everybody craves that interaction, that, that person-to-person, face-to-face interaction. And the problem that we have is that we're mostly one-man bands. In our, you know, I'm sitting here in, in my studio, I'm by myself. Um, you know, I, I've talked to the dogs today. That's it. Um, <laughs> so we all crave, we all crave this community yes, and, and a sense of belonging and somebody to talk to and somebody like, you know, I, I talk to one of my best friends from Maine Maritime every day and, and it's almost never professional, but it's, it's great to just have somebody's ear mm-hmm. to listen to. Sure. Uh, whether it's personal or business, and and I think that means a lot. And and we see this a lot in the Inspire Facebook group for all the alumni. There's like 485 people there, and there's everything from check out this cool project that I'm working on. You know, this is some personal work I'm doing. To hey, I've got this really weird question. I've had this client. They're asking me X Y Z. I've never cro- come across this before. What do you think? And so. You know, you, you have that you have that resource there of, of your friends to help you, and that's why you know I like the term frienders or friends. They're not, you know, they're uh, even beyond colleagues. I mean, there's there's a more intimate connection than hey, we're colleagues, and and that's important. And that's what really drives us to do this. And the fact that we want quality education out there as well, we want people to expand their horizons, and that's why we have things. Right. Um, like alternative process classes, we had Sig Harvey and Jen Hudson come this year that are that are photographic artists. They're they're not you know they're not shooting weddings. They're shooting fine art, um, and we want that to inspire people so that they go out and and try new things. And you know that's that's what Inspire is all about is is pushing the boundaries of people, building the community, having friends. It's it's that whole homogenous you know bringing it all together. Sure. Uh, you know, one of the things I've enjoyed uh, from the Inspired uh, Facebook uh, uh, forums is that uh, usually uh, a, f- a photography forum will quickly dissolve into somebody calling somebody something or the other and whatever. You know, it just it, there's a lot of like trolling going on, you know, uh, but Inspire's Facebook posts are almost always positive always looking for advice, always looking to lend a hand, always looking to, f- to, to really connect versus, you know, the opposite. So I think that's what I've taken away from, from the whole Inspire thing. Um, look, look uh, you and I both are on the same page about Inspire. We love it, obviously. But there are certain things that obviously you've been challenged by in the last uh, years year or two years. What kinds of things can you talk about that, that you that have challenged you and you've overcome as a as a group. Well, one of the things in, inspires grown, and that in itself is a challenge because we want to keep it intimate. Um, so along the way, we've decided that 
we're not going to go beyond 300 people at Inspire, and that includes, you know, your your sponsors and, and teachers and, 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 you know, all of that. Um, because we don't want somebody to leave Inspire and say, wow, I never saw that person over there. Um, you know, so that's that's one of the challenges, is, is keeping it, growing it, but also keeping it intimate. Um, and then we're always, we're always trying new things. Uh, there's a sandbox and sometimes we're like, wow, is this going to work? Or it could totally bomb and be awful. Um, this year we tried a couple of new things and, and they worked great. And so we were like, phew. Uh, we did supper clubs and people were really, they loved it. I loved mine that I went to. It I loved mine I went to. Yeah, Absolutely. I went off to dinner with 10 people that I did not know. Yep. And, you know, by the end of those two and a half hours, you know, I had a connection with them. Uh, that was, that was awesome. I mean, that was, that was a great thing. Plus we're in Portland and you know, that city's known for all its great restaurants. So people went out and Absolutely. they had a, they had a blast and they, and they made a lot of new friends. And the other thing that we did is we did speed mentoring this year on Wednesday and it was peer to peer mentoring. And that's what Inspire is all about on an organic level, but we actually set it up and, and had it. And we had some people that, you know, were running it for us and facilitated it. And it, it worked wonders. So, you know, but we every year we want to like roll the dice and try something new because we don't believe that you can just roll out Inspire seven or eight years in a row with the same content, with the same format, the same speakers. People get, they get tired of it. Right. And so we're, we're always looking for new speakers. Uh, you know, we have a lot of return speakers, but they always talk about something new. Uh, so that, you know, you're not hearing the same thing year after year after year. Right. Um, and so those are some of the, the challenges, you know, and, and just, and just the logistics. And I mean, it's, it's crazy when you plan something for 300 people, there's, it, it's a challenge across the board, but sure. it's one of those things. Anna and Eric are very talented. Um, you know, and, and we, we talk almost weekly. We, you know, we, we have Google chats or we'll have a, uh, we'll have a group call, uh, we meet four or five times a year in, in Newport. Um, they're coming to my house here later this month as we go over speaking proposals, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Sure. Uh, and so it's it's we have a lot of communication between us, and uh, so we we do have challenges, but we have three people that you know we love, inspire, and we really care about each other. Um, you know, they're not just my business partners; they're my friends, and I, I really care about them personally. They mean the world to me, so it's one of those things I don't want to let them down, and, I, and it's the same thing. I know they don't want to let me down, so yep. we work hard, and, and we play hard, so, Indeed. you know. What kinds of things can you talk about that, that are coming up for next year? Uh, don't give us any surprises, obviously, because you want to keep them as a surprise, but um, you've, you've talked about uh, Dave Jackson coming back, uh, Sig Harvey coming back, and yep. uh, one other person. Tyler Workin's coming. Tyler Workin, oh my goodness, wow. Yep. Uh, you know, Talk about Tyler Working because I think people need to know who Tyler Working is. Oh wow, Tyler! Uh, you know I've known about Tyler for quite a while through Foundation, and um, he actually taught at Roots. And uh, Ned That's Jackson right. uh, had him, I believe, as and as one of his mentors at Roots. Right. And so uh, that's the great thing is Inspire is so word word of mouth. Is, right. You know Tyler had heard about us, but Ned like called and you know. Put put the, put the sale on. It's like, dude, you got to do this, and you know that's the great thing about, right. um, you know, the the grassroots campaign that we have with Inspire. And so, we talked to we talked to Tyler, and Tyler is somebody that comes from a photojournalistic background and is uh, very pure in how he views shooting a wedding. Um, he's one of, to me, one of the best photographers out there shooting weddings today. And on top of that, sometimes you're a great photographer, but you can't be a great teacher. But he's a great teacher. Right. So he's, he's got the two things that you, you know, that just, you know, it's, it's a great thing to have him as part of Inspire this year. Absolutely. He gets what community's about through foundation. And, and we found with talking with we and, and, and Tyler and people, and we have like um, uh, Kate McAwee who documents Inspire sure. Year. She's from foundation. It's, there's a lot of the same core concepts that sure. we both believe in. Right. And a lot of crossover with that. So to have somebody like Tyler, you know, it's, you've got a great photographer, a great teacher. He's going to be a great mentor to people. And he just he gets what being having community is all about. And, and that, you know, a rising tide, 
you know, lifts all boats. And so, uh, you know, I'm really excited to have him. So, uh, same here. When I heard that he was coming, uh, I was uh, ecstatic. I was just really thrilled. Um, I've never studied under him, but I know it's, you know, he, he, at some point he had, uh, he had a workshop in Boston, I think, and I missed the deadline or something like that. Oh, I yeah. like I, I couldn't make it uh, to the – years to ago work. in December. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He had set that up. Yeah, and it's – it's you know, he, he's one of those guys that you, you really want to study under because uh, he, he's good at, as you said, you know, not only just creating great photography but also being able to teach it and, and really critique your work and, understand, you know, talk, talk you through what kinds of – uh, hangups you may be going through, you know, in terms of your photography, which I think is important. Yeah. Um, let's talk a little bit about what's coming up next on on your horizon, which is uh, speaker proposals. Uh, yeah. Which you know, I think the the deadline's on May fifteenth, if I'm not mistaken. That's correct. Friday, May fifteenth. Friday, May fifteenth. And uh, you know, if you if you are a photographer and you've you've got this inspiration to speak and teach this is the place to do it. I mean, really cut your teeth right here, right now and, and come in and talk about your, uh, whatever you're passionate about, you know, and maybe you can fill in the, the gaps a little bit more and tell us a little sure. bit about what else, sure. what one can expect. So with, with Inspire, we're looking for a huge range of people to, to, to speak and to teach and mentor. And it could be, if you've, if you've never, if you've never taught before, but you've got a great idea, put, put a, put a proposal in. We have a lot of first-time speakers. Uh, you know, we have a lot of emerging speakers, as we call them. And so, you know, we really want to get that full range of people. We don't. We're not necessarily looking for somebody that's on that, that does speaking for a living, or you know, that's a huge part of their business. I mean, if somebody applies and we think they're great, you know, and they've got a great proposal and it's a class we think that will resonate with Inspire, we're, mm. we're going to pick it, and we're not going to care if somebody's been teaching that class for. 10 years or, or 20 years. We're, and we like to take chances on these speakers, too, because you find some remarkable people. Um, you know, I, I locally, like, you know, Doug has spoke at Inspire for several years now. And Doug's fairly well known now, but he, he wasn't back then. Uh, you know, you also have Ned Jackson, people like that. Leah Haydock, who's an She's, amazing, just amazing. Her, her presentation was phenomenal. In fact, I, yeah. I've, got, I've got her cheat sheet right here. You got it. You know? It's amazing, and she produced this, and she gave everybody this little cheat sheet at yeah. the end of, end of her conversation, uh, end of her presentation. You know, I mean, who Thank does? You. Who does? Thank that? you, Miller's Lab, our sponsor for that. Oh yeah, you know that's <laughs> that's another thing is that you've got great sponsors coming too, right? I mean, you've got people who are really who are out there, and we'll talk a little bit about the sponsors in about one minute because I think it's important. Uh, but going back to the the speaker yeah, yeah. speaker proposals, but, but so in, it's so important that if you have an idea that you yes. put it there. We never want somebody to feel intimidated that, boy, I've never spoke before. Are they going to pick me? Uh, if if you've got a great proposal, we're we're going to look at it and we're going to we're going to you know we're going to give you a chance. Sure. Uh, we've we've had so many people that you know weren't what what I would call a household name. If you look at the WPPI sheet of speakers, you're not going to see a lot of inspired people on that, and that and that's fine. We're we're a different animal than WPPI. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, that's that's the big thing is that we want speakers from all different walks of life. Awesome. And, you know, w we want young, old, inexperienced, experienced uh, photographers, artists, uh, business people. Um, you know, uh, to, to me, this last year is some of the best classes I went to. First time speaker were the Pazootis. Uh, they did a business plan class, and like, was, another awesome class. Yeah, and it was a it was a great class. Another and awesome so, class, absolutely. You know, I sat through that myself. Yeah, that's, that's an awesome. example of having somebody that had never taught before. Right. But if you know Rich and Ashley, is that they they prepared for that for months, and they're perfectionists in what they do. And you know, I knew when we picked them. I, I had known Rich and Ashley before, but I I knew like their professionalism yeah. i'm like there's no way they'll blow this because they're just going to sit there and have the perfect class and they did yes and so that's that's what we love to see it inspires if you've got a great idea go on the website click on you know submit a proposal and it takes five to six minutes to to fill it out and, and send it in and we'd love to look at it awesome i will have a link to that under this uh video so please please click it and and please 
submit a proposal. I we need to hear from you, uh, and and don't feel intimidated at all because this is truly a community of friends where you're just really chatting about whatever you're passionate about. Uh, with a, with a group of your best friends in a way, and think of it that way, and then you you, you just follow through and put your put your ideas together. Uh, a quick note about sponsors: you've already thanked Miller's Lab. Uh, there are other incredible sponsors out there, and you know this is what differentiates again the the, the Inspire conference from others is that when I when I go to Inspire and I talk to a, a fr- we call them frienders, right? Uh, a vendor who's come there to present and, and have a booth, they're really there not to just sell their stuff. I mean, they they want a connection. Obviously, they'd love to have a, a you know a new customer out of yep. out of you. But you know, like I'm thinking of Shoot Dot Edit and Jared Bauman and what he does and what he's done in the last few years. It's incredible. You know, he shows up and he he doesn't just stick to his booth. You know, he he's out there talking to people and connecting with people, you know, all through like till I was talking to him till eleven or twelve at night, you know, about the business of photography. He was incredible. Uh and there this is this is again, I don't know if I'm speaking ahead of you, but yep. but you know, I think this is what differentiates Inspire for me. And that's why I'm I'm excited every time you, you know you guys say, Oh, we've we've got dates for Inspire, I'm like, Yeah, I'm there. You know? Yeah. You know, it's that's what it gets me excited about this conference. It's it's amazing. All all the sponsors that you know that we have at Inspire, they're they're all about building relationships. And um, you know, we had, you know, White House and Millers came this year. They were new sponsors. Shutterproof yep. Shutterproof, uh, yeah, it was awesome. Uh, shoot proof. Shoot proof. Shoot, shoot proof. proof. Yep. Yeah. And 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 Colin's been a part of Inspire for years and, and they really get what building a community is all about. And uh, you know, talking um with everyone there, they you know, like the supper clubs for them, they loved it because it took them out of that setting and put them in just sitting around a table of people and, and you know, gave them a chance to connect with folks. Um yeah, all of our sponsors just do an amazing job. Um, they really make it a welcoming event and it's, it's more than just going to somebody's booth and, and seeing what they're right. presenting and doing. Right. Um, they want to know about your business. They want to know how you can, they can help you. So right. it's just not making a sale. It's, it's about having a relationship with a customer and they care personally about, you know, what's going to happen with your business and how they can help you make more money, save time, all of that. So, you know, I, I, uh, Fundy was there too, and I know Fundy yeah. Software is all about making things more efficient for, yes. for wedding photographers, especially you know creating albums and things like that. It's phenomenal. Yeah, Kate Kate came out and she was she was amazing. She was great. You know, I don't know if she's going to let Fundy come. I mean, she she told me she had such a great time. She's like, I'm coming back, I'm not oh, Andy. I'm that. like, okay. Uh, awesome. But but I mean, yeah, we have we had great sponsors this year, uh, right across the board, the, the, and they they work so hard. Um, you know, and, and they and it shows. It it really does. They Absolutely. that you know. It's it's more about. It's more than making money for them. Absolutely. They they have a higher cause. So it's it's really important. Indeed, uh, folks. This is not a sales pitch to any of you. Seriously, I know. I know it seem may seem like that, but I've I've really felt so strongly about Inspire that uh, in the the last year or so, I've I've actually spent a good deal of time talking to all the speakers and understanding what they're going to be presenting and. Uh, and then, and then finally meeting them in Portland was phenomenal. Um, you know, it's it's really one of those conferences where if you feel, especially if you're an introvert, by the way, which I am. I know it doesn't seem like it, but I am. I I don't like large, very large uh, groups of people where I you know where I have to make a presentation of any kind. But uh, this is sort of the right fit for those people who are shy, who are sort of quiet, and want to. Want, who want to you know make the right connections and and go from there you know I think this is really the the right conference in my mind at least for those people um, now if you are you know this really if you're a party animal and you're you want to have a good time this is also your conference because you you know there's there's all kinds of you know opportunities to go out and hang out with friends and and, and as I said talk to people till eleven or twelve at night I mean where are you going to do that you know um, and this is really a the conference to consider inspire what are the dates when is it taking place and where is it taking place mark sure it's february 8th through the 10th 2016 it's at the hyatt regency on goat island in newport rhode island and it's a it's a great venue um think of the hotel as 
as the center point going out and like all the rooms have a water view and you're on an island. Oh. And so, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's just, it's pretty tranquil. tranquil. Uh, I'm sure it won't be as tranquil with us running around. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, it's just, you know, it's, it's just a place that you can go and you can relax and, you know, we call it a retreat. You know, you come, enjoy yourself, learn, come a day or two. We had a lot of people in Maine that came a day or two earlier, sure, stayed a day or two late. They've got the spa. You've got Newport to go around. Right. Uh, it's, you know, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. And it's this, you know, we're going to work our butts off and it's this is going to be our best one yet. Awesome. Thank you, Mark. Thanks for joining me today. All right. Thanks, Sashi. Take care.